name is Dina Madrano, uh, soon to be for today. <laughs> about three years ago and my life has never been the same since then. It's been the best decision that I've made um, and I kind of just wanted to share a little bit of my testimony with you guys because um, I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it weren't for God and all that he's done. I'm definitely blessed because of him um, and I don't know I guess just being a teenager and a young adult you know going through life you just want to do whatever you want to do. You want to be rebellious, and that's exactly what I did growing up. Um, and it just led me to, I don't know, just feeling really like lonely and um, just, I don't know. I was just in a in a really dark place um, right before I came to church, and I, I just needed God. I knew I was missing something in my life. I didn't know what it was. Um, I just felt empty, um, and I know that. I, I didn't know where I was going from the outside. My life looked perfect. It looked like, you know, I was going to UT. I was, um, you know, going to get a college degree and everything. But on the inside, it was a different story that nobody could see. Um, I was really hurting and just longing for something. And I didn't know about God's love. And um, it just, I don't know, it was just a, it was just a crazy place. And... Um, I got so tired of it, and I didn't know what else to do, so I knew that God was real. Um, I just never wanted to follow him. Um, I was just wanting to be rebellious and just, you know, just do what the world says is okay, and, um, you know, that led me down paths that I didn't want to be on. Um, so, you know, it just just led me to feeling really lonely and I one night I couldn't take it anymore and I just started praying which I never did and I just asked God like if you're real can you just please like reveal yourself to me or show me something um so I can know you're real and he ended up answering my prayers and I was like okay that was weird and so um I came to church and I got saved and um I remember though right before I came um, my grandpa had called me, and everybody here knows that he's a pillar in the San Antonio church. And so he called me, and he was like, can you please just go to church for me? And I was like, well, you know, I know that God uses people, um, and my grandpa was a prayer warrior, so I knew that God had a plan for him calling me. So I came to church, and I gave my life to Jesus, and everything's just been so much better. I've... I've filled that void in my heart, and um, I just had a joy that I didn't have before, because there's a difference of having, like, being happy in the world and having real joy with Jesus. Um, so if you're a young person or you're single um, and you're going through some things, just know that God's there for you. Don't turn your back on Him. Don't, um, you know, push Him to the corner just because it's not the cool thing to do or because everybody, you know, your friends aren't following Him. Um, you know, in the end, it's it's life or death. You know, it's heaven or it's not heaven. So, you know, um, just just have just be encouraged and um, you know, just reach out to God. Whatever whatever point you're at in your life, just reach out to Him, pray, ask Him to help you, um, and He will. So, I mean, I've I got saved and I was in ministry and I I teach mustard seeds and. You know, there's all these things I do. I've been on invasion trips, and um, I met Cody. Woo! <laughs> 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 we started dating, and it's just been the best time. I mean, I know what relationships are like in the world, and I know what they are like with Jesus, and they're two completely different things. And just because, you know, your friends or whatever have, you know, relationships with people it doesn't make it right um i can tell you from experience that it's worth the wait um, me and cody Amen. have been together for over two years and we haven't touched each other we Woo! haven't held hands or kissed <laughs> or anything and, you know some people think that's weird but i think it's awesome um you know to be able to stand here and say that you know, we've been able to refrain from doing that. And, you know, it's not just us. Like, God's really helped us in our relationship, too. We put him first, and he, you know, he um, he just allowed us to be able to, um, to, to get through it. And um, so, yeah, I just want to encourage you and um, just, 
you know, it's possible to wait. <laughs> um, you know, and you just you just gotta have um, friends and people and Jesus and um, it's. I've been really blessed and it's been it's been an amazing experience and I can't believe it's already today. It's crazy. Um, yeah. But I know that um, I know that you know by serving God that He's gonna continue to bless my life and Cody's life and all that we're going to do in the future. So I just want to thank everybody that's been there for us, um, that's heard us and just been there and helping us along the way. It's truly a blessing. And um, yeah, so just be encouraged. And if you don't know Jesus, please reach out to him and just find your personal relationship with him. So yeah. It is packed, man. All right. Crazy. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, every one of you guys really mean something to me, and it's really awesome to see everybody here. So, uh, you know, just just my testimony. You know, I'm I'm Cody, of course, and uh, I've been saved since I was 15 years old. Um, and so, when I mean being saved, you know, I, I mean that I, I really gave my life to Jesus. You know, I was before. You know, I was you know just just your normal teenager wanted to experience. Uh, relationships, wanted to experience, you know, girls or or uh, drinking or just anything I could get my hands on, you know what I mean? And so growing up, you know, I, I you know, I, I was always smiling and I was always a really good kid, you know, I think to my mom, you know, I don't know she tells me. And so, but you know, on the inside, you know, I was really just, I, I could honestly just say, you know, I was missing something. I, I knew that I was missing something. And so I, I didn't really know what that was. I didn't know uh, what to do so I just began to continue to do things and so um, I walked into a church service just like this um, and you know just just realized that that the gospel you know that 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 Jesus was actually real and, and that became something that was in my life and it helped me it helped me a lot and, and I came in I got saved you know I, 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 I said you know what God if you're real you're gonna help me you're gonna, you're gonna shape me you're gonna mold my life you know, I'm, I'm going to give my life. I'm, I'm not going to look at any women like that anymore. I'm not going to, I'm not going to just, uh, you know, want to do anything a teenager would do. And I said, God, at the end of it, you're going to bless me with a beautiful, with an amazing wife. And, and that's, and that's what he's doing. You know what I mean? I can really thank God for that. And, uh, you know, so, you know, it's just like Dinah said, you know, I, you know, us being, you know, 18 and, and uh, 20 years old and, you know, just going through the years like that, being able to not touch. And I can honestly say I've never done anything with Dinah, like, and I, I promise, like, right, just never touched her at all, you know, and, and it's just, it's, it's an amazing thing to say. And so uh, it's, it's really an accomplishment. I really thank God. I, I thank God for my pastor, for my, my dad. My mom, just everybody here today, I thank you guys so much. Amen. You'll ever bless you.